Man, redemption. Does anybody feel the glory of God already in this place? Oh, come on, church. We can do a little bit better than that. I said, does anybody already feel the glory of God in this place? Well, let's not waste any time. Come on, begin to lift your voice, Father. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We declare that there was no one above you. God, that there's no one greater than you. We declare that you are great. You are greatly to be praised. Let's go. All right, church, hands up. All right, church, let's go. Whistle. Was seated on high when they you spoke down. We were already on your mind. Yeah. Can't explain your love with our performance. You call us your own. Get in the morning. Yeah. With your blood, you bought our freedom. Can't explain your love.
Good morning, Redemption. I'm so glad that you were here. We're doing something a little bit different. So you say, Pastor, why are you interrupting our praise and worship? Well, I'm not. I'm just steering it a little bit. We have so many people uh, that accept Christ on a weekly basis. It's become almost impossible to incorporate baptisms in just a normal service. Uh, because of the sheer number of people. Like this morning, I think it's about 27 people this morning got saved. And, and nine o'clock in the morning. So it's not a problem, it's just you gotta get creative. And uh, we were getting together in our weekly meetings and I was with my creative team and I just said, you know what? I wanna incorporate the baptism into our normal service. I said, it's just a way to work it in there. We got about 30 more people that are gonna be baptized. So here's what we're gonna do. You'll see it on the screens every once in a while. The cameras will catch it, but the Bible talks about when you're saved that you're born of water and the Spirit. When you get born again spiritually, there's, there is no equal. That is the greatest spiritual experience you will ever have. But the Bible says there's an earthly expression, and that's water baptism. When we leave it all in the water, and you come out new life, hallelujah. So during our next several worship songs, we're gonna worship, and while we're worshiping, people are gonna be leaving it all in the water. Is that all right? And if you want to rejoice with them, if you're here and that's one of your family members or friends, this is a church you can shout amen and holler and clap, do whatever you wanna do. But we just wanted to do it all at the same time. Is that all right? Somebody give Jesus praise. This is about to be a great, Worship service, hallelujah. Come on church, hands lifted all across the room. As we've seen that our God is our champion in this place. Come on. And I've tried so hard to see it. Took me so long to believe it That you choose someone like me To carry your victory Perfection could never earn it You give what we don't deserve And you take the broken Praise Him to glory. Sing it. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I see it. Defeated with the one who has conquered it all. So we sing it out. Now I can finally see. Come on. Now I can finally see it. You're teaching me how to receive it. So let all the striving cease. Oh, 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 this is my big Voice is 
have a champion. Every voice. You are my You are my champion. The war is over, church. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle. Every battle. No matter what you're facing, I am. I am who you say. sign of victory just lift your hands to heaven begin to give a glory in this place come on just begin to worship him from the posture of victory we don't worship for victory we're worshiping from victory today come on we praise not for it we praise from it the battle is over the war has been won we have a reason to worship this morning moving over the world spirit come move over us <laughs> come rest on us come rest on us yes yeah, the spirit was moving over the world spirit come move over us come rest come rest on us come rest on us come down spirit when you move you make my heart bow when you feel the room, yeah, yes. you're here and I know you oh, are yes, I'm here and I know you are Spirit, when you move, you make my heart When you're dying up the room, yeah. the room yeah. you're here, you're here, you're here and, and I know you are
welcome the Lord? Would you welcome his spirit? Would you just say, Lord Jesus, have your way? Somebody across this room say, have your way. Have your way, have your way, have your way in me. Have your way in our church. Have your way in our city. Have your way in the world. you may be in your spiritual life right now you may have been saved for 30 years or you may have just wandered here and said man I'm in desperate need for something and you're just scrolling or anything in between that's not for me to guess it's for me to present you to Jesus to present Jesus to you I want to get you and Jesus together and get out of the way because it's not about me it's not about us it's not about a church it's about do you know Jesus this is a highly highly personal decision because when Jesus asked his 12 disciples, he said, who do men say that I am? He really didn't care. He then said, but who do you say that I am? And you know what? When everything is said and done and your time on earth has come to an end, you'll be asked, who do you say that I am? You won't stand with your grandma. You won't stand with your family. You won't stand with others who have been saved. It'll be a personal decision and have you made it? Would you make it right now? I want you to know him. He's my best friend. He never leaves me. He's always a present help in a time of trouble. And I'd like for you to know him. And if you want to know him, the prayer goes something like this. I thank you, Lord, that you died and rose again on the third day. I thank you that you shed blood so that I could be free of sin. Forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I thank you for your gift of salvation, and I accept it today. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah, if you accepted Christ Jesus, welcome to the family, and you have gotten some way to let us know because we want this to be the greatest decision you've ever made and see you grow from here and see what God wants to do in your life. We come to this point in our service, which is not the intermission. This is not where we separate the songs from the guy that talks. It's not what's happening. This is where worship goes to the next level. He says, praise me with the stringed instruments. He said, praise me with the drums and the cymbals. He says, praise me in the dance. He said, praise me with the clapping of the hands. He say, offer to me the fruit of your lips. And then he says, now worship me with your possessions. And that's when everybody quits clapping and gets quiet, just like you right there. Let me challenge you. Psalm 119 says, David said to God, he said, Oh Lord, your word is forever settled in heaven. Nobody's arguing and debating the word of God in heaven. 
Nobody's debating God as to whether or not he can heal. Nobody's debating God as to whether or not he's Jehovah Jireh, your provider. Nobody's debating God over whether or not he's the Messiah and the Savior of the world. There's no debate. It's settled. The problem is it's not settled in the earth. The Word of God is settled in heaven, but it never says it's settled in the earth because that means it's got to be settled in me and it's got to be settled in you. And when we come to this point, and if you're still shaky and suspicious and don't really know how you feel, it's because His Word on this is not settled. Like for instance, I didn't get up this morning wondering if I'm saved. It's settled. What has happened in heaven has happened in me and it's settled. I didn't get up this morning wondering if God could heal me. It's settled. I didn't get up this morning worried about eternity. I know where I'm gonna spend eternity. It's settled. There's no anxiety about it. I did not, I, it's settled. It's done, okay? But then Jehovah Jireh, my provider, we get to that point and we're not settled. And I'm thinking to myself, how can I believe God for eternity, but I can't believe Him with my paycheck? I'm gonna stake all of eternity on he, the claims that He makes, but when I get to my finances, I'm not gonna believe the claims that He makes. That's because we've not settled in our heart. He is truly Jehovah Jireh, our provider, the Lord who has got your back, the Lord who will supply you. He will be your source. He will take care of your needs. And if everything is falling apart, he's still going to make sure you're taken care of. See, when I get to this point, there's no anxiety because I'm settled. Okay? I love a Krispy Kreme donut. It's got to be something sinful. It's got to be wrong. The way you can put a donut and that kind of donut in your mouth and you don't even have to chew it. It's got to be something wrong with that. But I didn't like what they were doing. So I had to make a decision. Am I going to eat them or not? So I had to say, I'm not going to eat them. So whenever someone puts one under my nose, I don't have to make another new decision. Because it's... Father, bless the gift and the giver. And like we've trusted you with salvation, like we've trusted you with eternity, like we've trusted you with forgiving our past and giving us a whole new future, like we trust you with altar calls for healing. Lord, let us trust you with our substance. Let us trust you with our resources. So we come to you this moment, Lord, we believe that if we just obey you and do what your word says, it can be settled in earth just like it is in heaven. So do it, O oh God, I pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Here's all the ways you can give. Let's go, praise team. All right, church, come on. It is settled. We are bringing our tithes and offerings in faith today. Let's make it loud in this place. Now, to our view. Hey, guys, how are you doing? I'm so glad that you are enjoying these services with us. I'm glad that you chose to worship with us. You had many options. We don't take it lightly that you're with us. And this is the time we're worshiping God with our substance, with our tithe and offering. And like I just said to them, I'm saying to you, if I can trust Him with eternity, if I can trust Him with salvation, if I can trust Him with my kids, if I can trust Him with my family, my marriage, why can't I trust Him with my substance? This is the time to settle in your heart that He is your provider and just simple keys of obedience will unlock His provision in your life. That's why we bring the tithe and that's why we bring our offerings to Him. Would you join me now in this? And don't go away. I got two left of heavenly chaos and I don't want you to miss it. I'll see you in just a second. More people have chosen to use text to give as their preferred way of giving because it is safe, quick, and very easy. Here's how it works. Open a new text message on your phone and use your text to give number. Text RCM 2864-920-1282. The very first time you use the service to give, you will receive a text message with a link to a registration form. Click the link in the text and it will direct you to enter your information. You will only have to enter your information once to set up the service. Then it's a matter of seconds to give. It's safe and secure, easy to use, and you will receive an instant receipt. Add your text to give number in your contact list so you'll have it ready. That's it. Giving has never been so easy.
and we thank you for your generosity. 